Hi. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. What's it for? Uh, for no reason. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Cheers. I'm actually going to LA on Sunday. Oh, damn, you're one day late. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. But I'm going for Wait, one day. Change your flight. No, I have to be in Arizona and hang out with my friends. Hey, can we pull up? And I guess I'm doing <laughs> Alright, we're good. Cha -ching. Are you ready to get started? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Birdwatching Podcast, where we ask chicks questions to get answers for you guys. Today, I have a very special guest. Her name is Sydney Schaefer. What's going on, Sid? What's up, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Chilling. How are you? Doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. We're knocking off the rust. This is the first podcast for you? Yes. Never done one before? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Are you a little nervous? Do you have to poo? I'm not nervous at all, <laughs> actually. I've been looking forward to this all day. Really? Mm-hmm. Excited about it? Yeah, definitely. You were, you were texting me. I knew that you were pumped about it, so it should be a fun episode. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> we, we start off every episode with a rooster review, so we're going to try to beverage, give it a rating, one to ten, make sure to give a decimal, because no decimals is rookie scores. Right. All right. Today, we're trying out the White Claw Surge. These are 8%. So they oh gosh. they boosted the alk percentage a little bit just to just for kicks and gigs I think, but we're trying out the blackberry flavor. So You ready to crack it open, try it out? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Oh, sure. a little sniff test. <laughs> sniff mm -hmm. test. Yeah. Just make sure it's not poison. Mhm. Mm All right. Okay. I'm ready. Are you going to okay. knock it and dock it? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Yeah, it's good, but it definitely tastes more like booze. Yeah, for sure. Good. Yeah, really? Yeah. It's got a bit of a bite to it. it tastes like, uh, I don't even know what kind of alcohol it tastes like, though. I, I don't know. And I don't want to say Four Loco because that's scary. Mm, no, it's not that bad. Four better than that, easily. You think? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, I don't know. I think it's just because it has sugar. Mm, maybe. I don't know. It's a little rough around the edges, but if it gets the job done, I mean, we're all here for it, right? <laughs> it tastes also like more juice-like. More juice-like than regular ones? Yeah, I feel like the flavor is, like, stronger. Okay. So you think they, like, boosted the flavor to make up for the yeah. the alcohol I think increase? So. <laughs> Do you have a rating for it? Mm, yeah. Okay. You might want to keep my mic closer to your mouth, too. You can move it around, too. It's kind of fun. I about. think I have a rating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a rating. <laughs> Three, two, one. one. What are you thinking? I think 6.7. 6 6.7. 6 that's, a, that's a good rating. That, mm. that is a good rating. Oh, you want to change it? You can Maybe 6.4. Okay. Yeah, why Why the docking <laughs> points? Because <laughs> I thought about it harder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go... I'm gonna go like four point seven. I'd oh, say it's like wow. I'd say it's like below average. If five's an average, it tastes a little funky to me. Yeah. But you don't mind it. Six point seven slash six point four. That's pretty good. Like I'll drink it. Right. I guess. Me too. I'll probably <laughs> finish this, but. <laughs> All right. Well, go pick up a pack of White Claw surges if you're feeling a six point seven slash six point four. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do today, we're gonna play a game. It's called Head Scratcher. This okay. is how it works. Oh, gosh. I'm going to give you five trick questions. <laughs> if you can get three out of the five correct, you get a $10 scratch-off in the form of two $5 scratch-offs. Okay. Okay? So you can win, like, a ton of money on the pod. <laughs> Are you ready to win a bunch of money? Yeah. And uh, then I'll take us all to Mexico, I think. Really? If if I win big money, I'll take us all. Everyone in For the real? Room. We yeah. got it on camera, so hey, you can't... You got, okay. you yeah, it's on yeah. camera. Yeah. Can't go back on it now, though. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. All right, so here's your first head scratcher question. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <Think about it. laughs> question. Is that the first one? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you pass. No, no. Here's your here's your first one. All right. What kind of nail can replace itself each time it's removed? A thumbnail. 
Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A toenail, a thumbnail, fingernail, anything like that. Yep. No, I was thinking like thumbnail, like a PDF. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> But we're going to give it to you. One. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stay true to it. Yeah, good work. I mean, yeah, we'll give it to you. That's fair. All right, here's your second one. What is an item people see as essential but buy hoping they never have to use it? Mm. A thumbnail. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, can you please repeat yeah. the question to its entirety? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Did you want the origin? <laughs> <laughs> I was a knowledgeable one. So what is an item people see as essential, but buy hoping they never have to use it again? I don't even know this one. Really? Yeah. It's a tricky one. I don't know. A fire extinguisher. Oh, what? Okay. I would have never gotten that. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I that one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, right. That's stupid. I'll give you another one. Here's your third one. How many stars remain in the sky during daylight hours? How many stars are made? How many stars remain in the sky during oh, daylight hours? One, the sun. No, that. That's actually. No, they all stay in the sky. Uh, they all, they're all still up. One is visible. Right. Okay. <laughs> not, not the question though. <laughs> that, that, that Did it? Yeah. Kind of mess you up a little bit. Yeah. All right. Well, if you get these last two, you still get your scratch offs. Are you ready for the last two? Yeah. How are you feeling? Are you confident? Are you nervous? Like what? Like, give me some insight. I'm ready to. I'm ready to hear the questions. Let's do it. <laughs> I respect that. Here's your next one. What is the cheapest way to buy thirteen diamonds? Mm. Black market. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> buy a deck of cards. Mm. <laughs> Did, did you did you want the last one just for for gigs? No. No. Okay. No. Actually, All right, so we're moving on. <laughs> yeah. No. I love it. That's dope. All right. Let's talk about boys a little bit. We're gonna dive into relationships. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Here's your first relationship question. How is the dating game now that you're a New York model? I would say it's really fun. Okay. You never know who you're gonna meet in New York and at the parties and. So, what it is like a celebrity dating app, but like you have to get approved to get on, and so they'll look at like who is in your contacts that's on, who's on your Instagram that's on, and then it will decide if they want to let you on or not. And you're on, yeah. How'd you get plugged? Who do you know? Or is it just the money maker right here? I I know some people that are on it already. Okay, so that's how I probably got on. Do you want a name drop? Um. Mm. Probably yeah. should have. Big Sean. <laughs> Big Sean. <laughs> I actually haven't met Big Sean. You haven't met him yet? No. Well, you will, I'm sure. On yeah. <laughs> I've seen so many people. If I were to show you my phone right now. Can I see it? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, have you seen that? Uh, name drop. Yeah, I won't name drop. Okay. Um, should I just I wanna... come over and show you? No, you, do you want me to just hold the phone? I won't. I won't like send anybody you can messages. Click on the people too, cause you you'll probably know them. The first guy you'll know. <laughs> you match with him? <laughs> Show me. You match with him, or is it yeah, just? Yeah, yeah. And you haven't you haven't hit him up yet though. No. That is. That on you have ten days to message each other, or else it, the match disappears. Okay. Do you watch football? <laughs> yeah. Do you see the the sec? Oh my gosh! You're number two. I know you're number two. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he, he plays for the Mavericks. Does he? Yeah. Wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, look at. Okay, wait, this is crazy. I kind of want to send a message, be like, "Yo, I'm such a big fan. Like, if you ever want to hang out." <laughs> okay, wait. Go to, go to the football guy. Yeah, yeah. Hold up. The second one on my messages. No way. Do you like him? This guy? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I'm like actually starstruck and you just match with them on Tinder. Something like that. I mean, kind of. No, it's more bougie <laughs> than that, but. Dude, I got to show you. Oh, my God. I, no, no, it's I can't. If you don't oh, my God. Yeah, I want like to reveal this one that's so bad right now. You could give you a know, hint. You know who this guy is, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I matched reveal with them. It, so, and then when people ask for a part two, that'll be the part two. Okay. So reveal right now. What? <laughs> we'll give a hint. Okay. okay that's, that's a good idea. He um, has he his has own a, show. He has his own show. 
Can I give a second hand? <laughs> the one that gets it up. Yeah, it? sure. Um, no. Oh, <laughs> okay, now it's a, okay, it's I'll, a question here, for you we'll, guys. We'll see if you guys can get it. Okay. And then I'll bleep it out if you guys guess it right. He has his own show. And within his show, a lot of the times his desk gets broken. What? No, I, no one knows that. I don't know about yes! his show. <gasps> yes! Isn't that crazy? I never oh, seen his show. What the? Yeah. I know he has his own show, but that is so sick. No, I'll cut this part out. Um, yeah. Do you want to hear it? I don't have his He's number. Sick. I just matched with him on. Um, that would some people crazy. from The Bachelor. Oh, this is he's looking through right now. Yeah. Oh my There's, gosh, this wait, is. So when you come out, when you come out here, do you like find people in Arizona? It's no, it's all over. It's all over the U.S. Oh, so, like, I'll match with people from Chicago or, like, L.A. Oh, so it's not, like, location-based. Mm -mm. This is crazy. The second. Look I at the second. I am so Do you fired know him? up. The messages. Oh, this is amazing. The second guy in your messages is... Oh, the th third one. The third guy? Yeah, third. <sighs> oh, my gosh. I want you so bad now. What? Oh, I run a podcast. All right. Hold up. Do you know him? Are you saying to cut it out? Oh, the guy from Modern Family? Sydney, this is so sick, actually. I matched gonna... with a guy that actually used to bully me in high school. Really? And he, he messaged me. He said, love looking at you. And yeah. I said, love having class with you. Yeah. And he said, no way. I'm like, mm. he never, he didn't recognize what me. What were some of the burns that he used to give you? Let's, let's get those out on the internet. Um... <laughs> I don't necessarily remember like what he would say, but I just remember that he would like be was, mean to was me. Mean, yeah. Yeah. Was that like oh my gosh, I am so blown away right no. now. I totally forgot we were even doing like, a podcast. He was an asshole, oh. I, but I did, also didn't really have that. Is he single? I thought he was dating someone. Or I thought he was married. <laughs> He's like, wait, back to. Yeah. I could never see. That's the biggest one I think on your phone, maybe. But probably. Oh, you want to hear someone that's one of my DMs yeah. on Instagram? Yes. I met him at a club. Can we talk about this or do can we, we get in trouble? Can we talk? talk you can't talk about it? it? We can't. So blur it out their yeah. names. I'll just go. <laughs> okay. Damn, Click message. Out. Okay. <coughs> just say, just, you can just say the name. We'll leave it out, right? Yeah. Who is it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what yeah. the? Yeah, yeah. Dude. He was gonna fly me to Holland for a music festival, but I had to go to Chicago with them, and I had work, so I told him no. And he was yeah. always hitting me up. Was he mad? No, he'd be like, "Let me know when uh, you're back." Yeah. No, if you want to hang let's, out, let's fly, yeah. out, fly out to what? Tokyo. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's get. <laughs> let's let's get <laughs> on the podcast for hell's sake. Come on. Okay, we'll need to cut yeah. all this out. We need to bleep it out. We're gonna bleep out a lot of this part, but people are gonna be like, "Who are they talking about?" <laughs> Yeah. That's crazy. All right. Well, dang. I kind of feel like like low level now, just even talking to you. Like you're like so much higher than me. No. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever other podcasts, they're gonna ask the same question. You have Jackie. Oh my gosh. You're such exactly. a I appreciate that. <laughs> That's so sick. I'll actually. send you a referral. So. Uh, to answer the question though, dating game in New York, obviously it's spiced up a bit after seeing some of those names, mm -hmm. but like, is it, you know, how do you compare to like other New York models? Like, are, is everybody dating? Is everybody just hooking up? What do they do? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know a lot of people in relationships, but it's also like you hang around people that are like you. Yeah. So like, I don't know, but I don't know. I like going on a lot of dates and my friends go on dates too mm -hmm. so yeah. have you d gone on any like dates like anything set up for and you went out on a date with him um someone brought me to his concert got me vip at his concert wow <laughs> that's sick yeah that happened to me last week too so not that big of a deal but that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah i get you i'll be on there next week that's dope though good for you mm -hmm. Sid. all right here's your next question would you ever date another model I honestly think I'm not really attracted to models. Like the physique? Yeah. Like, I feel like they look very feminine, and that's just, like, not really what I'm into. Okay. What is your type? Um, well, I do have, like, a type. Okay, so <laughs> I have, like, a type that I'm really interested in, and then, like, sometimes it strays from that type. But the blueprint is tan, 
taller than me, mm. dark brown hair. I kind of like thick eyebrows and um, kind of like tattoos sometimes, kind of facial hair. And but they don't have to have tattoos. But right. Yeah. Not like an essential thing. But also, like, if they play soccer, that's cool, too. You like soccer, guys? Yeah, because I play soccer. Oh, I'm okay. on an intramural team, so it's, like, fun. In New York? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's dope. What yeah, do you play, like, fun. Central Park? No, um, there's this field in Brooklyn, and it looks over, like, the whole city of Manhattan, like, financial district. It's so sick. Wow. And yeah. it's co-ed, I'd assume, right? Yeah. That's dope. It's so fun. That's so much fun. How yeah. did you get connected with that? So my roommate, she was on the team, and so she would bring me to games to, like, fill in and stuff. And then I had Annalise ship my cleats to me. And then I played one game with them. And now they're starting fall season. And I actually joined the team officially. How sick. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. At least you're, like, getting out there. I think a lot of the, <clears throat> like, issues with people moving out to New York or anywhere far away where they're not connected to anybody, they don't really... Sometimes you get out there and you don't really know anybody. And then you yeah. don't get connected. Yeah. So it's good that, you're like, you're getting out there and, like, joining leagues and, like, going on dates, meeting new people. That's dope. Yeah, it's fun. And also, like, I feel like Bumble BFF yeah. is, like, if you're a girl and you want to meet friends and you just moved to a city, Bumble BFF is awesome. That's how I met one of my best friends here, actually. Really? Yeah. I've heard a lot of people talk about that on the podcast, actually. Yeah. Like, a lot of the girls talk about Bumble BFF and it's, like, you find roommates on there, you find, like, new homies. If you're in a yeah. new area, you can meet new people kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, very cool. Shout out Bumble BFF if you want to sponsor the episode. Feel free yeah, to. Yeah, seriously. Because we need money. <laughs> All right, here's your next relationship question. What was your longest relationship and how did it end? Um, My longest relationship was a little over a year. And it ended... After, like, me moving to New York, okay, I kind of like, just, like, want to do my own path and, like, not let anything hold me back. Right. So. Good for you. Yeah. So then you moved out to New York and you're kind of like, okay, I don't really want to do long distance. I don't see it as, like, a, a connection where, like, we can definitely make this work. You kind of just want to do your own thing for a while. Yeah. And I think that they felt the same way. And I wish the best for them. I yeah. hope they're doing good. Um, but I just don't really, like, care to talk to them. Yeah. Anymore. Right. Do you think they're going to watch this episode? I think so. Probably. Really? <laughs> okay. Well, hey, what's up? <laughs> Wait, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Like you didn't. Organic. Yeah, you didn't say anything bad about him. Like that's like a mature transition. To yeah. Your new life. You didn't drop any shit about him. No. Unless you want to. You want to? We can talk shit about him. No, no. I, no. Him I don't have anything bad to say about him. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, he treated me well. I actually don't even know who you're talking about, to be honest. So. You, you met him. At your going away party? Yeah. Okay, then I do know who you're talking about. And I do like him. He's got a bad taste in NFL teams, but he's a cool cat. He's not a Vikings fan, so. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You know who he likes, right? Huh? Browns? Shout out Baker Mayfield. No! Don't shout him out. Why? Did you match with him on that app or something? No! <laughs> 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 That would be tough. We're All shouting right. out my ex's jersey. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving on. No, skip that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We're cutting that out. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Here's your next one. How often do your exes try to get in touch with you? Well, the first one, he's blocked on everything, even LinkedIn. First ex that I know. Yeah. I know him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no mas? No, dude. Uh -huh. No. No, yeah that's yeah anyways second one <laughs> second one wished me happy birthday oh that's and, sweet and i was like thank you hope all is well and that was it but we never really talked before that but i don't really care to talk to them because like we're exes like it's right. weird what are you getting out of it yeah exactly and it's like yeah i just kind of cut them off but i hope he's doing well yeah that's it second ex good terms just don't care to talk yeah because he's yeah. an ex right yeah cool all right, well, shout out exes. <laughs> Here's your next question. How do you feel now that you're out of college in the real world? Oh, my gosh. I miss college so much, but can I pause really quick? I need chapstick. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Did you meet all these people in New York or here? For real? Like, a lot of them here. L.A. Oh, L.A. Because oh, I was, yeah. I was, when I lived here, actually, I was going back and forth between LA and Right. Long. Where did you end up going after you lived here? Because we were just talking about that. I lived in Tempe for nine months. By yourself? Yeah. Okay. And uh, Tito? 
Yep. Where's he at? New York? Yeah. Okay. Shout out Tito. Shout out Tito. You think he'll watch the episode? Yeah, I'm going to show him. Okay, cool. We're going to watch Good. it together. I just want to make sure. <laughs> He's going to be my emotional support animal because I'm kind of stressed <laughs> to watch this back. <laughs> it's going to be good, I promise. Here's your next relationship question. Um, okay. How do you feel now that you're... Oh, we already talked about that. Here's your last relationship question, actually. How do women show effort when they like a guy? Hmm. Maybe text them back. Well, I feel like that's kind of <laughs> like bare minimum though, right? Like, <laughs> Like if a if a guy texts you, you text him back. Like that's how you show effort. These days, bro. Yeah. Honestly, I don't really like texting. So if I'm texting you back, yeah, it means something. You text me back all the time though, and we're platonic. Well, okay, that's because we're figuring something out. Oh right. If it's just like, oh, how's your trip, or how are you doing? I hate that. Oh right. So if you like a guy, you'll text him back and be like, it was a good trip. Like. Yeah, I okay. guess. But that doesn't feel like a whole lot of effort. Like sometimes I, like I just send the bare minimum. Though I don't know. I don't know, Jack. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> you don't, don't, you don't have to have the answers to all relationships. It's just a discussion. I think the reason that I had kind of asked that question <clears throat> is I think it's tough to answer, and I think sometimes girls expect a lot out of guys, but they don't actually know like what effort they're putting in. Like I think a lot of girls would say, you know, um, you know, we do our hair, we do our nails, we get ready, we put on makeup, but like that's kind of like expected like the guy has to get ready too he's got to you know look presentable so like where's the where's the effort involved and it's not supposed to be a trick question it's just more like where do you personally think the effort comes in when females are interested how do they show that they're interested or how do they go above and beyond to like make an impression i don't know because i always do my hair naked or hair (laughs) hair, makeup and nails i do it for myself like true yeah you're not not doing it for the man guy right um I don't really know like I just feel like maybe I just don't care about showing that I'm interested because I'm not interested in a relationship right, right now. now okay yeah, yeah well th- that's fair then if you're not looking for it you're not putting in that yeah effort so yeah tough question I- I'll probably resurface that question again in the future because I'm ki- like curious I don't know how a female would answer <clears throat> it if they are interested in trying to find a relationship hmm. you know what I mean I might have to um, call someone for that because I don't know yeah <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. I was waiting for that. Dope. Well, that was the last I question. I don't know how to answer that question. I That's really okay. We, we covered it. Like, you just don't have an answer. You're not looking for a relationship, so you don't have the answer of the effort. What about in past relationships, though? Like, when when you started dating your last couple exes, did you have to put in effort, or did they pretty much take reins, and then you kind of just were like, yeah, I am interested, so I'll go along with it? No, because I'm, like, trying to think of how I would answer that, because I just don't know how to... Like, if I show that I'm interested or not, like, I don't know. Yeah, that's totally fine. Because I feel like I, like, right now in my life, like, I, I go on dates and stuff, and I have, like, guys that are interested in going on more dates and, like, texting, and I'm just, like, don't really care about that. Like, if I'm, like, focus on myself then i'm just gonna focus on myself that week and then maybe like next week i'll be like oh well i'm bored and i have this day free like i'll hit up one of those people okay and like hang out with them either again or hang out with a new person so uh, back burner is dudes right now like dudes is not your main focus yeah what do you what do you what's like on the front then what are you trying to accomplish right now i would say right now like i've been having a schedule about like going to the gym going to work and like trying to find extracurricular activities <laughs> to like yeah. do it in my free time right soccer um right and but my main focus right now is like making friendships like girlfriends and like even like guy friends like i don't really have like strong friendships there yet but okay. i think that there's some that like if i take time and put more effort into them they can be like really good friendships yeah dope so focus on friends focus yeah. on career focus on like life goals yeah and then once a guy comes across that really sparks your interest then you're gonna invest more time into that yeah. area yeah or if i'm bored like yeah. then maybe i'll <laughs> hang out with them or <laughs> go on a date True. or something <laughs> like oh <my> <laughs> that's good that though bad? i mean it's yeah, not how is that bad it's just well, like really? I did girls no too. yeah but like <laughs> but that's not like the front of like what i'm focusing on like that's i'm focusing fine. on making I'm friendships no yeah Focus i'm on focusing yourself. on making friendships because i feel like friendships are like what makes me happy like that's why i love arizona and my friends so much yeah. <laughs> 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 And so I think yeah, that's like, 100%. that's what like makes me feel like I have a purpose and like makes me feel fulfilled. So like, that's what I want in New York. Cause I feel like that's a part of my life that's missing. Good stuff. 
That's a great not idea. a bad thing at all. Honestly, a very positive thing that you're focused on other things other than relationships. Because I think yeah. sometimes the stereotype for girls is like, all I care about is getting married, having kids, having yeah. a house, getting a husband, you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Which is totally fine too. Like if that's what mm-hmm. your desires are, go after it. Mm-hmm. But you have different goals, different aspirations. That's cool. Yeah. And I feel like maybe if I meet the right person, then I'll be like, okay, maybe I do want those things. But like right now, like I can't even like think about right. marriage or kids. Or... Me neither. Honestly, I'm not ready for it. But <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to make a ton of money and be a C-list celebrity. Yeah, there you go. And then and then uh, get on that app. <laughs> That's my whole goal now. <laughs> yeah, match. <laughs> Time stay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll cut that out. All right. Here's the next thing we're going to do. Questions for guys. So you have some questions for me, right? Yeah. Cool. Do have All right. I'm ready for you. Send them over. I have them on my phone. Um, okay. First question. Yeah. How does a guy show they're interested? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's easier for guys because we feel like we are supposed to take <clears throat> control of the situation. Mm-hmm. So if we are interested in a girl to the point where like we're going to get past the oh, all I'm scared factor, you just have to put yourself out there and start communicating. Girls just want to chit chat and get to know you, build a relationship, you know? Yeah. So I think when guys do that, you know, they're like showing interest not only in a physical feature, but also like a personality. It probably shows that he's interested. Mm-hmm. Also, like taking girls on dates, you know, going out, dinners, movies, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. We, we're probably just going to do whatever we can to like, does she like me? Hopefully she likes me now because, you know, I'm trying to put in this effort. Yeah. Does that make sense, Ken? I heard that the, this quote and it was like, if a guy's interested, you'll know. And if a guy is not, you'll be confused. Yes. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. That makes sense. Definitely. I would, I would say 90% of the time that's true. Like, What it, would be the other part that we're it, a circumstance where it's not true? If he's like just not sure. If, if, he, if he's in a situation like where you're at. Like I'm not looking for a relationship, but if mm-hmm. one kind of falls in my lap, I'm going to go after it. He yeah. might be confused too because he like meets a girl and he's like, oh, there is something here, but I don't know if I want it. Then he mm. might be a little hesitant. So like. 10% of the time when a guy is making you confused, he might be confused too. The other 90% of the time, he's probably just playing you. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, question number two. Block, block. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Brittany's going through her DMs right now. <laughs> How do you feel when a girl calls you bro? Um, <laughs> is, it a, is it a girl that I'm interested in? Yeah. And she's like, bruh. Like, well, sometimes maybe it just slips out. I don't mind, to be honest. It yeah. doesn't really bother me because I'll call girls, bro. Like, yeah. I'll be like, bro, check this out. Like, this is crazy. Okay, what if it's a girl you like? Same thing. And she's, but it's like. Is she, like, consistently saying, like, yo, what up, bro? Is it like that? <laughs> then I'm going to be like, like also, take a step back. I feel like dude bruh. is also another, like, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Bro. If a girl <laughs> that you like is calling you dude, it's kind of like, dude, she's probably not interested. Yeah, probably. But it depends on how it like the context. It depends, like, I think, on say, the girl if, too. If I'm if I'm dating a girl for a year and she calls me dude or bro, I'm not worried. Yeah. But if it's like if it's like one of the first times we hang out and she's like, "Bro, I missed you, bro. Like, good to see you, bro." I'm, I'll be like, "What are you doing? You Why are you talking like that?" I think "bra" yeah. is a lot better than "bro." "Bro" is like very adamant. Like you you know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> "Bra" is like dude or homie or like you know whatever. Yeah. "Bro" is like, like man, like yeah. we're <laughs> we're blood. Like we're related. Yeah. You or you're trying to be. <laughs> trying to be little. Trying to be. What does yeah. that mean? Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go in depth on that? I don't think anyone knows. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the next question. Please. Okay. Okay. What do you think when a girl offers to pay for half of like whatever you guys are doing, like the bill, or like if you guys are going to the movies? Or... First date. If a girl offers to pay half of it, like no hesitation, I'm gonna pay for the whole thing because it's like dope. It's like. You actually appreciate it. So if a girl's like, oh, I want to pay half. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be so quick to be like, no, 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 I got it. But like, that's sick. Super cool. If a girl doesn't say anything, I might be like, like, yo, you want to split this? Like, <laughs> like come oh on. My gosh. Yeah, for real. Because like, if they're just like, just expect it, it kind of takes away from the, like the whole, the moment kind of thing. Hmm. So I, I want a girl to be appreciative, but I also want her to be appreciative to the point where I want to pay for the bill. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get that. So it's, it's actually very attractive when a girl's like, let's split it. Like, I'm totally fine with it. I'm financially secured. You know, I don't need you. I'm an independent woman. These mm-hmm. shoes on my feet. I bought them kind of thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what do you think? Like, when a guy, should a guy always pay on the first date? I think so. But also, like, so this is my, like, 
I don't know. This is what I think. So mm -hmm. if I'm going on a first date with a guy and I actually like could see myself going on a second date with him, I'll probably offer to pay for half cool. unless like they kind of just like do it anyways without like kind of like sneak it out. Yeah. yeah. But um, if I don't like the guy, I'm not going to offer to pay. <laughs> like, so, so and I'm you, probably never going to see you him. think if a guy's on a date with a girl and she offers to split the bill. <laughs> what? That's, is that so <laughs> bad? That's not bad. Here, if, if you're on a date mm -hmm. and you offer to pay half the bill, should the guy expect like, oh, she might like me, you know, a little bit or she's interested because if she's willing to split it, then there's probably a second date. Is yeah. That, is that fair? Like, is that most girls, would you say? I would say so. But I also know girls that will offer to pay for half because they like are like this a terrible date. So oh, I don't know. Shoot. That's tough. That's I tough. Then. But then like. Okay, I can't say that. Okay, all right. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> but I, oh, like, I, I believe a guy should always pay for the first date. Okay, mm -hmm. your situation. You ask a guy to hang out, and he says, yeah, let's go out to dinner. And you guys go out to dinner. Are you still expecting him to pay? Yeah, because he suggested what we should do. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Whoever suggests it pays for it. He, so no, I'm, I'm like, yeah, let's hang out. And he's like, oh, yeah, let's go to dinner. Okay, you're paying for it because you just suggested dinner. Like, we could have gone on a walk. All right, re restructure the question then. You say, <laughs> yo, let's get some dinner. And he goes, yeah, let's do it. Let's go out to dinner. Okay, if he said, let's get some food. No, I'm no, like, you say, let's okay, get some food. Let's get some food. Yeah. I would probably think that I would, I would like, try to pay for half, but I would still expect him to pay for it, I think. Okay, that's fair, though. That's fair, because... Because I just, like, I want a guy that's, like, more, like, dominant. Like, that, like, plays into that role, like, I'm going to take care of you. Right. That's what okay. I want. I and I, it. that's what I deserve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, though. If that's your expectation or if that's what's attractive to you, like, that, it is what it is. Yeah. If he does it, then it's attractive. If he doesn't do it and he expects you to pay half, it's probably not going anywhere, and that's fine. Yeah, it's, like, definitely a turn off. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Taking notes over here, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, was that your last question for guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, we'll take a quick break. All right. So, next game we're going to play, it's called Phone a Friend. This is how it works. Mm -hmm. You got to call three people. Mm -hmm. First two, you're banking on them answering. The last person, okay. you're hoping that they don't answer. Okay. So, do you want to go first for me? Hmm. So, I get three people and you get three people? We both call three people. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, you can start. You want me to start? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't prep for this at all. All right. I got somebody. And I've I've changed up every time. I haven't called the same person yet, so. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So are you banking nope. on them to answer or not? This, this one I'm banking on them to answer. So FaceTiming him right now. Hopefully he answers. Got to look cute for him, too, because he's a good looking guy. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I do not want to kill this drink. This is so whack. Gonna answer. Okay, that's enough. It's just gonna keep ringing. They didn't answer. All right, that's so whack. You know who you are too, you son of a b-word. I really don't want to kill this. Who'd you call? Zealand. No. <gasps> oh my gosh! Remember when he was goalie and I scored goals on him? And first one, he's like, that was luck. And then I scored a second goal. He's, I was like, was that luck? <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. That was like in semifinals, too, on intermeals. <laughs> mm. Tough to get down. It's her turn. You got to call somebody now. Ugh. And they have to answer. That was not, that was not tasty. Yeah. Do you know who you're calling first? Mom, you're on the podcast. <laughs> hmm. Ugh. That's just okay, yeah. All right. Go ahead. FaceTime or phone call? FaceTime. Yeah, way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Denzel Washington? Yeah, you're on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's Friday. It's 9.30 on Friday, so I mean... It is tough, yeah. It is we should have shot earlier. Okay. Huh. Oh, Murder, she wrote. <laughs> okay, what happens if they call back within, like, our three? Nope. 
Okay, I'm doing this one. Okay, go for it. Oops. Chug a lug. Let's go. Your bra showing. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. Good work, Sid. All right, my turn. God dang it. All right, I got a, I got a kid. Um, What's the punishment for the second one? Second one is you got to text an ex. Oh. Yeah. All right. This is a random one. I actually have a feeling he's not going to answer, to be honest. I don't know why I did this one. I should have done this one for the last one. That is okay. Come on, homie. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, you're on the you're on the bird watching podcast right now. One sec. One sec. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Who's that? Nate Birch. You know Nate Birch. Basketball player. Legacy. Sorry, what did you say? You're on the bird watching podcast right now. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I had to call somebody who I knew had to answer. No, 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 no question. I just, I just had a, <laughs> I just had to call somebody who I, th I thought would answer the phone if I called them. Yeah, you know, daddy's about to answer. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You want to? I got you, sir. I got you all night. I appreciate you, bro. You, you pulled through for me. I, that, that was dope. Anytime, baby. Anytime. <laughs> all right, dope. You have a fun night. I'll catch you later. All right, talk to you later. Bye. All right, peace. <laughs> What a stud. Oh, Damn. What a stud. All right, Sid. You're up. Okay. Are you going to face them? Did you see that? Yeah. Say exactly what Jack said. You're on a podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let him know you're on a podcast. I will. I'm like, like I'm actually type where he does it, like he'll answer sometimes or else he'll like call me back like two minutes later. All right, we're, we're definitely answering that call if he calls back. Oh yeah. And we'll act like he answered. Mm. Just cut, do a bad yeah, cut, will, and then see what people say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think he sent me to a decline. How rude was that? <clears throat> oh. Wait, let me see if he's in Europe because I know my other friend. We'll just call like Chris Hemsworth now or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to see where he's at. Really kind of need another beer now. Oh, he's FaceTime back. Shut up. All right, answer it. No, no, I don't want that. All right, fine. Hi. Yo. Okay, so I, I'm filming a podcast right now, and I had to FaceTime someone in my friend or someone in my phone that would answer a FaceTime. So you're on a podcast right now. On a podcast? Yeah. Can I say? On a podcast. <laughs> this is my friend. What up, Ezo? How are you? <laughs> what up, G? <laughs> so, I'm glad you answered, but you didn't answer in time. So. Naj, are we cool if we we say that you answered the phone? What? Oh yeah, I don't care. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Dude, a, a big send tomorrow. Hi. Oh, that's fun. What's it for? Uh, for no reason. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Cheers. I'm actually going to LA on Sunday. Oh, damn, you're one day late. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. But I'm going for Wait, one day. Change your flight. No, I have to be in Arizona and hang out with my friends. Hey, can we pull up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the Morgan Wallen concert on Sunday, and then I fly back to Arizona Monday, and then I fly back to New York. Damn. Sounds like your schedule's a little off. I know, right? All right, well, have a have a fun send tomorrow. All right, we will. All right, bye. What the f***? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he was totally cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was actually the second time I FaceTimed him. What? Yeah. The the other time I was with a homie and he called one of his girlfriends who was hanging out with him that night. Oh my you gosh. Should have told him that. You he, should actually change your flight. He just texted you know, me. Yeah. He said, can I bring the homies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the last person that we're calling. Wait, I have a quick question. 
Yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> when you're bleeping stuff out, do you do like a bird noise? Yeah, it's like a, a duck quack. Okay. Yeah. Cool. For sure. All right. So I want to call somebody who I don't think is going to answer now. Yeah, I'll call Pat. Yeah, <laughs> he won't answer this. No way. Your roommate? No way. No. He's not. He's not gonna answer because he. He's gonna. He's gonna think I'm calling for money. The one. No. 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 All right. Hold up. Hold up. All right. Everyone. <laughs> he's so not gonna answer this. This is such an easy one, actually. Hey, easy. I gotta use this. Okay, I don't think... Oh, you son of a gun. What? We're on the bird watching podcast. I was hoping you wouldn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you answer? I literally woke up for you. I actually answered a pretty point. Dude. I didn't answer you for one day and you freaked out about it. <laughs> hey, send Ti- us, timestamp. Send us the cash app already. Yeah, Loki. Now you got to send me cash app because I have to text my ex now. Yeah, we're playing phone a friend. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know you like that. It's literally your game, you son of a. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now I'm kind of offended. I never thought I'd be the one winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured you thought I was calling for money, so I was like, he's not gonna answer. <laughs> still, I knew, I know when you guys are calling even for money. And I still answer. <laughs> <laughs> it was one day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, go to bed. Text your ex. Dude, go to bed, dude. <laughs> okay, all right, go back to bed. All right, sleep well, you freaking weirdo. <laughs> Why did he answer that? Mm-mm. Something special. I just told her I texted you for the podcast. She's going to be like, no sweat. Or she won't answer. She probably, she might not answer. <laughs> She's got. <laughs> Wait, do I know your ex? Uh, You probably know this one. The one that dated that one guy? Yeah. No, what's his name? <laughs> yeah, she did date. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Did you guys, when did you guys date? Freshman year. Oh, so it was before. Yeah. And then she she was on the podcast. Yep. But you guys are friends. Yeah. Okay, but cut that part out. Okay, yeah. Time's down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now you have to call somebody who you think is not going to answer. I know exactly who never answers. Yeah. My littlest brother. Oh, okay, good looks. Logan, Logan Paul. Yeah, I know who never answers. Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> he never answers. Leo, what the heck? Uh, Leo, you weren't supposed to answer, Leo. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, this is so fun. She does the jack face. Still gets ready for her brother. I don't do that. Yeah. I don't do duck lips. Yeah, you do, but you do the cheek thing. What? Like, you take snaps the way you, like, pose for your... This is how I take snaps. Of his muscles. You suck in the cheeks? The A little bit. Because <laughs> yeah. I haven't been working out. I got fat. I feel that. Yep, see? Okay, <laughs> when can I hang up? Because he's not going to answer. Shout out, good. little bro, bro. Uh, yeah. Shout out, little bro, bro. Denied. What a, what a sweet boy for not answering. What do you think I he's guess. doing playing Fortnite? No, he's he's a high schooler. He's a senior. What do, what does he do? He's probably either at a football game. Yeah. Or he's hanging out with his girlfriend. Okay. Or he's playing video games. Is he a good-looking cat? Like he's got a Yeah, he's a little cutie. Oh, yeah, right on. Shout out yeah. little Broski. You, yeah. you think he'll watch? Yeah. Really? No, no, he I was won't say, watch. No way. He won't watch. He doesn't even answer any of no, the yeah. calls. I don't like, think he's yeah, interested in what's going on in his old sis's life. Yeah. So, Next thing we're going to do, we're going to play a game. It's called What Stan Are You? I'm okay. going to give you two topics. You have to tell me which one you like better. Okay, for Pretty sure. Pretty simple. Here's your first one. Cardio or weightlifting? Weightlifting. Really? Yeah. Interesting. What do you like about weightlifting? Building muscle. Good answer. <laughs> You're actually oh. like... <laughs> I've been working out. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Yeah, good on you. That's awesome. I think most of the time when you talk to girls, like, you expect them to say cardio. Yeah, I mean, I do, like, cardio from playing soccer, I guess. But in the gym, I just weight lift. I, don't, I hate treadmills. They're so scary. 
scary yeah like i feel like i'm gonna fall <laughs> <laughs> no i never go on them because i get scared really? that's how people die <laughs> <laughs> no i actually get scared i'm gonna fall and like no i think you'll be okay you're like 23 24 like you're probably fine but i mean it's the same as walking right no <laughs> yes it is what are you gonna hit an electrical no walking <laughs> you're in control Treadmilling the treadmills. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, technically, you're the treadmills. Yeah, uh, is, exactly. Oh, is that what you said? My bad. My bad. That is so funny. So, wait, I think no. Favorite, yeah. favorite muscle group to work out? Butt. Okay, yeah, that makes butt sense. Butt stuff. Yeah, yeah, butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting comfortable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know, we're not going to that. I'm trying though. to grow the booty. Yeah, yeah, of course, me too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here is your next one. Cake or pie? Cake. Cake over pie? I just said I want to work on my butt. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to go pie. I have to go pie. Really? Yeah. Cake's a little too sweet for me. I'm not a big fan of cake. Do I like don't like frosting. Pumpkin pie? So good. Do you like whipped cream on the pie? Yeah. Okay. You can't compare whipped cream to icing, though. If that's what you're going for right now. Is that what you're doing? Do I didn't say anything. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going pie for sure, though. All right, here's, here's your next one. Football or basketball? Basketball. I've actually never been to an NFL game. Um, sure. So I don't... Somebody will take you yeah, at some point, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe one of the players. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basketball over football, though. Yeah, I grew up going to, like, the Blazer games with my dad. So oh, yeah, yeah. You're I, from Portland. Yeah. So yeah. I, like watching basketball better i mm -hmm. guess yeah me too actually i like basketball over football yeah which is kind of a hot take though for guys i think yeah. most guys are like football like yeah fantasy the... football, football fantasy Sunday, football okay football monday football thursday i'll be honest i just started doing fantasy football this year mm -hmm. and i love it like i, I wish i joined it. a team though it is so much fun yeah you just have to like do it just get yourself out there who cares what your team is like you can figure it out later yeah pick but up all the leagues guys. were closed when i decided that i was interested every single one my mom and my family started a league without me, and I told them last year that I wanted to be in the one this year, and they started it without me. Were you adamant about it before the season started, or were no. you kind of like, it started, and you are like, I wanted to be in on this? So my friend told me that she's doing fr fantasy football, and she was like the captain of, or like, yeah, she was the one running it. Yeah, commissioner. And I was like, oh my gosh, that actually sounds fun. I was like, okay, maybe I should hit up my family, because I know that they do it every year, and they're like, we already started. We already picked our teams. <coughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? <coughs> I tried to hold that in, but I <coughs> swallowed <gasps> the wrong way. <clears throat> what were you saying? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm chilling. Sorry. Give me a pat your back. <coughs> kind of. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no, that would be funny. Oh, oh. Give him a pat. Give him a oh, pat. I'm okay. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm good. Whew. Sorry. Did that spook you guys? Sorry. It was kind of out of nowhere. That was intense. Yeah, that hurt kind of. I'm dying over here. Is it hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What were you saying? <laughs> I don't even know what's know. going on. <laughs> yeah, I choked on that so bad. Oh. <laughs> I was really trying to hold it together over here. Couldn't do it. Were you just like, yeah, like, like this, holding like, it in on? I felt it. I felt it swallow weird at first, and then I was like, oh, I got it, and then I knew I didn't, and then it came out loud. My glasses are getting fogged up because my forehead's that hot. <laughs> All right. All right, moving on. Now, next question. Uh, glasses or contacts? Um, I don't know, either. Either? <laughs> that just throw off your vibe that I coughed like a, like a lawnmower? <laughs> um, let's, say, let's say for a guy you're interested in, glasses or contacts? I don't know. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if they wear glasses sometimes. Maybe it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly contacts? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah. I no actually worries. prefer guys with good eyesight. Okay, yeah. And and, and bush, bushy eyebrows. <laughs> Not bushy, but thick. Okay, yeah, thick. My bad. Do you, do you want guys to, like, line up their eyebrows? No, if a guy gets his eyebrows waxed, no. But if it's, like, if he, like, plucks them a little bit and it looks, like, kind of natural, then good. Okay. But if... He waxes them, ew. Yeah, no. Too feminine. Too feminine, yeah. Still trying to find an alpha male, but also still good eyebrows. Yeah, good thick eyebrows. Yeah, but not mm. too thick. Not bushy. Maybe it is considered bushy, I don't know. 
<laughs> Either way, totally fine. <laughs> All right, here's your last. What stand are you? Coke or Pepsi? I don't drink soda. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> The good. only time I think I drink soda is when I'm drinking alcohol. Okay. I never drink, like, soda on its own. Right. I only. What, grew- what would you rather mix with? Maybe like- Sprite? No, bro. That's no. not even one of the options. I agree with that. <laughs> you agree with that? Coke or Pepsi? Sprite. <laughs> I feel that. I don't drink soda either. <laughs> well, <laughs> that last four and a half minutes was an absolute Can I phone a friend? <laughs> Can I phone a friend? <laughs> Only if it's Elijah Wood. <laughs> um, Annalise, Annalise, Elijah Coke Wood. or Pepsi? Uh, definitely a Sprite. <laughs> no! <laughs> You're killing me. Mountain Dew, baby. <laughs> no, not Mountain Dew. Whatever, we're moving on. All right, so we're going to play a game. It's called Cute or Cringe. This is how it works. Mm. I'm going to give you a prompt. You got to say cute, you like it, or cringe, you don't like it. Okay. Easy peasy. Mm-hmm. Here's your first one. Cuter cringe, dill pickle chips. Mm. <laughs> um, probably cringe. Mm. I would try it. You've never tried them. I think I actually did try it. <laughs> <laughs> but also, she didn't do. <laughs> okay, so do you, do you at Trader Joe's, they had a party pack where it was like ketchup flavored chips, barbecue flavored chips, pickle flavored chips, and then one other. I think salt and vinegar f- flavored chips. So it was all in a party pack. So I did try pickle flavored chips. It- but I wouldn't eat it just a whole bag. No. But cringe? <laughs> That's like a pretty common chip flavor. I feel like you were I saying say- it like it's not common. <laughs> You were like, there was like barbecue, and then there was like some weird one, like salt and vinegar or something like that. <laughs> it creeps me out. I would say cringe. Cringe? Okay, I respect it. That's okay. All right, you ready? Are you ready for? Your, are you are you ready for your next one? Are you gonna cough? Feel free to cough. I do. I'm wrong. Okay, I just wanna... All right, here's here's your next one. Okay. Cuter. Wait. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Love, <laughs> Like, <laughs> Jack, you laughing guys, oh my gosh, I don't know. These last 15 minutes have been <laughs> hectic. It's, it's kind of fun now. All right, here's your next one. Cuter cringe, Facebook. I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if the know? guy, if the guy I'm talking to uses Facebook, or if my you're mom you're, uses you're, Facebook. You're overthinking it. Facebook, cuter cringe. Do you like Facebook? I don't care. <laughs> like, I think it, that's only what the, um, like, my relatives use. So, like, sometimes I'll throw a pic on there. Mm-hmm. Keep them updated. The reason I bring that up is because I think Facebook is kind of dying out. Like, I don't think a yeah. lot of people use Facebook under the age of 40 anymore. Yeah. I was wondering if you use Facebook. No. You don't use it at all. I mean, the last time I threw up a pic was probably, like, over eight months ago. Okay, mine but was like, like my mom always posts me and she's like, Sydney, did you see my Facebook post about you? So I have to go on and oh, okay. I have to like it and I have to comment. Or yeah, like, but that, just like you're it. not going out of your way. Like you're not excited to check Facebook. No. So cringe. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not answering for you. I'm asking you like, yeah, cringe probably. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Here's your next <laughs> one. Cute or cringe leg tattoos. Yes. Cute. <laughs> you like that? Cute. Do you know the origin of that question? No. Do you know why I thought of that question? I don't think they know. Because Britt has leg tattoos. That's not who I was thinking of, but Britt's tattoos are sick. Yeah, yeah, that's why I like leg tattoos. Yeah, true. All right, so cute for leg tattoos. Yeah. All right, shout out leg tattoos. If you have a leg tattoo, feel free to hit up Sydney on, what's it called? Aura? Yeah. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Sydney Facebook. Shafe, S Y D N E Y S C H A F. Shout out, <laughs> plug them. Mm-hmm. All right, here's your last one. Cuter cringe crime podcasts. Um, I would say cringe because I don't listen to them. Do you listen to any podcasts? Other Yours, than, other than bird watching. Yeah. <laughs> Do I you listen actually to, listen to bird watching yeah. podcast? Really? Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Gotta support like... your friends. Hey, yeah, right on. I appreciate it. That's yeah. dope. I was I... showing my mom it too. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, the really? one with you and Britt. Britt's no my way. best friend. Shout out Britt. Shout out Britt. Brit's shout out Annalise. Kid. Shout out Tia. <laughs> shout out Josh. Shout out Elon. <laughs> shout out my mama. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did your mom think of the bird watching podcast? What did what did she have to say about it? So I showed her the episode with you and Britt, and she yeah. thought it was really cute. Really? Yeah. So cute or cringe, she would have said cute on the yes, birdwatching podcast? Yes, definitely. Shout out Mama um, Flacco. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Dope. All right, well, that was your last cute or cringe. That actually wraps up the episode. Okay, sick. Yeah, so Thank you for, so much for having me. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. I had a fun today. <laughs> I had a fun today. I had fun today. <laughs> I had fun too. <laughs> okay. We'll catch you next Monday. Peace.